in the previous video, we set up our door to work in a with multicast, and I also did a fairly in-depth explanation and example with why it's not a good idea to open and close your door with a multicast and the reasons why we should be using an on-rep and the differences between them. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be setting up our door to not use a multicast anymore. Instead, we're going to be using on-rep. So to give you the example, let me launch the server. And I'm going to go ahead and just, eh, we can do it with just this. So as the server, there's no clients currently connected. I open the door. Because I'm relevant to the door, the door is going to open for me. Now, let me launch a client to join the server after the door has been opened. As you can see, the door on the client is closed, whereas it's open on the server. So as a client, I can walk through it, but I cannot walk this way because the server thinks, well, knows the door is open. And if I open the door, it's going to snap open and then close to play the closing animation because on the server, as well as the variable itself that is controlling this door's logic, whether or not it's open or closed, that is replicated, is currently set to open. So when I open it, it's going to close, like so. That's what we're going to fix with onrep. So let's set that up. So first things first, we don't need this multicast function anymore. However, we do want this logic here inside of our onrep. So we're going to quickly create a little onrep. So you function, and do void onrep underscore toggle door. And this is going to be the easiest thing ever. And inside of toggle door, let me just move it down. We're going to put this logic inside of it. So everything inside of our multicast is now inside of our on rep toggle door. Now we just have to remove our multicast stuff, like so, and remove the call, well, the multicast call from toggle door. And essentially, we are done. The only thing we have to do now is tell our door variable to use on rep toggle door for its replication. So we're going to do replicated using equals on rep toggle door and then we compile. And as you can tell, this also simplified it a good bit because the only thing we're doing to change the door. Oh, one thing I forgot to do actually, I did the same thing over here in the character. Uh, this will be for the server. We have to call on rep toggle door. Now, let's say this is commented out and someone opens and closes the well opens the door. This is going to change on the server, and this on rep event is going to fire on any client that is relevant to the door, but it is not going to fire on the server. Thankfully, we have the option to choose whether or not the server fires this on rep. So if we want it to fire the on rep when the variable changes, we have to specify it to do so by calling the function like we're doing right now. Because in this case, we want it to call the on rep on the server. If we're in, you know, using a dedicated server, for example, we probably wouldn't want it to call the on rep uh, function. Okay. Now let's just uh, test it with two clients to make sure it still works, which it should. I open it. All right, so we got some issue there. And that is because the, uh, the way that it's set up, it is kind of reversed. So we're changing the value of the Boolean first before we actually do this kind of stuff. So the only thing we're going to do to switch this around is we're going to change what animation we play. So if the door, well, we need to kind of switch it. So for example, if B door is not open and the close animation is valid, we play the close animation. If the door is open 
and the open animation is valid, we play the open animation. So we need to specify this now because it's kind of a little bit backwards. But this will be to open the door. This will be to close the door. And this should still keep track of the state of the door. So better yet, let's actually print out the state of the door. So door is open, percent D, B door open. So this will print out one if the door is open and zero if the door is closed. Okay, let's open the door. Door is open is one, so that means it's open. Door is open, zero, means it's closed. And now it works right when we first do the initial uh, opening. So now that that's set up, we can test that issue that I showed a minute ago. So I'm going to launch the server real quick. OK, I'm going to go ahead and open the door. Then I'm going to there we go, make a client join. And this door on the server is open. So, oh, as you saw on the client that just joined, if you, I don't know if you caught it, but the door played the open animation the second the client joined. And that's because the onrep event fired. So, for example, if I, let me try to actually make this a little bit easier to see. Place this right in front of the player spawn, like so, a little farther. And then do it, so let me create a server. Just uh, quickly open the door. Now, whenever the client joins, we should see the door actually play the open animation, like so. And that's due to our onrep event firing, well, our onrep function firing whenever this variable is changed. So onreps are a very good way to keep a consistent state between actors. So this would be used, for example, like on a flashlight. Well, it's going to be the exact same thing. Let's say uh, we have just client one has a flashlight and he turns by default the flashlight's off and client one turns the flashlight on then let's say client two joins the server after his flashlight has been after client one's flashlight has been turned on well once client two enters the server if you're using a multicast he would still see the flashlight as being off but if we're using an on rep he would see the current state of the flashlight and he would see the flashlight as on and the same thing goes for like uh, just normal relevancy because that's what this all is it's relevancy whether or not you are relevant to the actor that has an a rpc being fired such as a multicast or an on rep so it's all about replication so like i gave in the previous video with distance it's the exact same thing if jimmy here is five miles away now that we have it with an on rep and bob is over here he opens the door jimmy over here that's five miles away this door is probably not going to be relevant to him so he's not going to his client's not going to know that the door has been opened but since we're using an on rep as he walks closer and closer all five miles he is now going to see that the door is open because he has now gotten to the close enough to the point where he is relevant to this door. And that's pretty much what it all it comes down to. Because if it was done with a multicast and Jimmy was way out here, so Jimmy's five miles away again and Bob opens the door, because it's a single event that occurs and nothing more, when Bob walks all five miles back to here, 
he still kind of see that the door is closed because he missed that event that event entirely to open the door or just to change the door state same thing goes with things like flash anything that you need to keep a consistent state between clients you will probably want to end up using an on rep variable so for things like in my Nazi zombie series with the wall weapons whenever you purchase a wall weapon you the only thing you see is just the outline at first when you buy it the wall weapon for the first time you actually see the weapon that you purchased the actual 3d model slowly appear out of the wall and sit inside of that outline well if this was done with a <clears throat> if this was done with the multicast and a client joined late after that uh, event already happened he wouldn't see that the weapon is on the wall he wouldn't even know really that the weapon has been purchased at all but since we're using an on rep and that client joined late after the purchase that weapon would be now moved through the wall and into that outline for that client as well so he would be able to see you know he joined late and missed the initial purchase that the weapon has been purchased so that's a uh, that's a that's a use case where i chose an on rep over a multicast now for something like shooting a firearm you might want to consider using a multicast instead because if you're like so far gone to where the firearm itself is not relevant to you you probably don't need to know anything that happened you probably don't need to know that you know the player shot you don't need to see the animation play you don't you probably don't need to hear the gunshot but depending on how you have it set up you know that might end up being dictated otherwise or you might have another system to hear the gunshot so if you're I don't know 2500 meters away or something like that maybe farther to where the gunshot's going to sound very faint you but maybe you're you don't want it to be relevant that far you could set that up for to use another system so the animation all that kind of stuff doesn't play you don't know anything to happened. the only thing that you know is you'll just know hey the guy shot the only thing i need to hear is the sound i don't need to see anything else so you can do little things like that and uh, that would be a use case for a multicast because let's say again jimmy's five miles away bob here by the, standing by the side of the door he shoots well if we're using an on rep to dictate that when jimmy comes back into relevancy we would hear the shot kind of randomly go off for example even though he may not have actually shot but we're only going to hear the shot kind of out of sync because of relevancy because the relevancy uh, Bob's weapon now became relevant to Jimmy so again I'm just trying to give there's other things that dictate whether or not an actor is relevant but I'm just trying to use distance as a uh, a good way to explain it at least I hope it's a good way I'm sure there's probably some other method that would make more sense but that's about the best I could come up with on the spot so we now have a multiplayer ready door that opens and closes very simply so that's really all there is to it and it also simplified the code quite a bit because all we have now is this and that's all in our door class to have a multiplayer ready door we just have a toggle door function make sure we're on the server when it happens but well, we have authority over the object when it happens sorry change the variable the on rep fires and that's it nothing more to it so hopefully you found this helpful if you if it's something you were maybe struggling with but anyhow uh, i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here if you like what i've been doing so far and you want to help support me and what i'm doing to try to help give people some information and teach people through tutorials please feel free to join my disc or subscribe to my patreon that is linked below in the description and if you have any questions or anything like that you can also find a link to my discord server below along with the patreon link and as always i will see you in the next video take care